All right, usually you see here is a uh, is this really weird type of wasp I found today. It's really huge. Yeah, this is my finger. Just be safe. This thing is really huge. I measured it with a ruler, 1.5 inches long. Most wa most wasps in my place are much much smaller than this. I'm not sure if this is an invasive species or if this is a, an endangered one. The creepiest part about this thing is that, is that while trying to catch it, the most peculiar thing happened. It was struggling so hard, so although I was trying try to be careful not to kill it, it ended up killing itself. And the, the irony is, it was like this for 20 whole minutes and it's not even dead yet. Uh, like not completely dead. You can see how it's trying to sting and oh, it stung itself, <laughs> it stung its head or whatever. Or well, maybe it's because I got close. But one, one way or another, I'm not sure if this is an invasive species or if this is an endangered one. I'll try flipping it over to see its pattern from behind. Sorry if I show that. Okay, so it has this, the stripes are not complete. But uh, it's a bright, it's a bright yellow from the from the from the abdomen and from the thorax. There's sorry, it's not clear yet. There's all uh, there's one stripe that's not really finished. Actually, no, there is one stripe that is finished. And if, and of course the the, the wings are brownish are brownish orange. Now let's look at its head since its head is another feature. It has a weird brownish, um, orangish complexion. Notice the mandibles, they're really big. Um, not really sure what kind of species this is. And uh, especially this can survive without its head that long. Um, I'm, going to, I'm going to give it a rest and s stop it from suffering and, uh, and hope I didn't kill an endangered species. <laughs> Alright, the... This is a really, really, really awkward. It's nerve-wracking. This wasp has been dead for, supposedly, for 25 plus minutes. And this is me with the tweezers to replace the entomology for sepsis in real life by professionals. And now I'm going to try to grab this thing and then I'm going to show you something else that I found that's actually incredibly ridiculous about it. Okay. I'm not sure if you can see this, but it's vibrating really hard. And it had a giant stinger. It's very angry, even though it's dead. And it's acting like a normal wasp would. It's headless. It's headless. This is very, very creepy. And uh, I just really want to get a good picture on, on its on, on, on its on its stinger because its stinger was huge, very big. I also don't know how to kill this thing because it's creeping me out and that kind of shows that it really is a special wasp, really special. Yeah, this is, a. Uh, you can see, watch the giant stinger. Oh, it's massive, it's huge. Oh my, it's so gigantic. Alright, I'm going to try and find a way to kill this thing. It's heavily armored, so... And I tried crushing it, but it couldn't die. And this is not about killing the wasp. This is about finding a weird wasp, an outlier, a new, unique thing I haven't seen before. It like scared me the moment I saw it when I tried going outside. So the thing I was going to do is see what it is. Ultimately, it had to end up dying. So uh, I'll kill it off screen. This is a stinger, it's the only thing that's alive. I removed this, uh, I removed this thorax and uh, try grabbing it. Oh, <laughs> it's pretty tough to grab. Oh, slippery. Slippery. It's probably became limp. But still alive, as you can see. Very tricky. 
Okay, got that. I got that. Now we can see this giant stinger, giant, giant, giant stinger. Very really huge. Squeezing it so I can make it angry because for some reason this thing is still alive. See this massive thing? It's not very clear, I'm not the best at picturing this. I think it's probably, it's probably what it stung the ground. It stung the ground. It's, it keeps stinging, it keeps stinging, it keeps stinging. I'm seeing it. Stingers are really creeping me out. 